Okay, so this evening's uh, meal is going to be a Dutch oven theme. So it's going to be people who have cooked with their Dutch ovens. Um, if you have one, we don't have one, so we'll be making something different. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and check out some of these Dutch oven setups here that the folks are doing. Sin and I are trying to figure out if we're going to get one ourselves. So um, let's see kind of what's happening. All right, our first setup, we got Andre and Susan here. You can see there, there they are. Trying to see their setup. There's their Dutch oven. Got this little thing there. What you got cooking in there, Andre? Mexican beef and dumplings. Holy Toledo, look at that. Ooh, that looks perfect. Ooh, it's so starting to. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick stir. So as with all the Dutch ovens, he's got coals on the top, coals on the bottom, and a windshield. And everybody's using the Weber Kingsford style coals. Done right. Goes on there. Oh yeah. So you can check the temperature. So what do we got? 194. Nice. So inside yeah. it's boiling. And there's their classic rig. Here we have Rick and Sandy. Their air stream is actually the same size as ours, except I think it's two years newer. There's an 04, ours is an 02, so it's the same size. So there's Rick. Hi there. There he is, and he is a serious Dutch oven guy. You can see he's got his coals going on his table there. That's a chicken tortellini, tortellini with oh. um, artichoke. Artichoke, that looks gorgeous. Is that going? And we've got a bread over here that is an experiment. Let's we'll see how this turns out. Oh, well, look at that. That's Ooh, starting baby. there. That was perfect. Well, let's hope. Getting there. There we go. <laughs> so you see his cool setup with his table, his ashes. Um, he's got a place for all of his tools where he gets his ashes going. And uh, we'll see how that goes and how that presents at dinner tonight. Yay! Let's hope it turns out everyone likes oh. it. <laughs> oh, I, I, everybody will like it, I'm sure. Thanks, Rick. Bye-bye. Here comes Steve. Steve has a beautiful 1962, I believe it's a flying cloud, that he's uh, worked immensely on. I remember seeing it there, Steve. Steve is our current unit president. Hi, Rick. So we're going to go ahead and check out his setup. He's got one over here. You can see his. So what I have here is a safe door I found on the on a safe down by the river in Brunswick, Maine, and I added some rigid pipe for legs. So cool. So that's, that's the door of a safe, huh? That, that is. You get yep. there. Yep. Cool. So, um, and uh, I'm using what I'm making is mac and cheese, um, and I'm using a deep 12-inch Lodge Dutch oven, and. So to keep the, the heat away so it doesn't burn on. Um, so I can show you what it looks like so oh, let's far. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, look at that oh. steam coming through. Look at all that bread on top that's going to crust over and the mac and cheese just kind of simmering. That looks delicious. It's going to be good. And you can see these guys have it broken down to a science as to how so, much coals to put on top. And right. And remember for... So a rule of thumb on a 12-inch oven is uh, you want to use um, 23 briquettes in good conditions to get 325 degrees. For every briquette you take away or add to it, count 10, 10 degrees. Huh. So, and then it's that you, precise, huh? 10 degrees. That's what they say. Yeah. 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 It, it depends on the weather and all that stuff. So um, keep in mind that while you're cooking, to keep the heat even, about every 10, 15 minutes, turn it about about a quarter turn uh -huh. and that and also the lid so the quarter turn the other way right so you can do the quarter turn the other way too but if you just keep going all the way around yeah. in both directions i think it's pretty much the same thing myself but. cool and like all these guys he's got his cool little setup there with his table and this is got from cabela's from it's, cabela's you yeah. got with those if i folded it all out i'd have uh, a pantry on both sides of the unit it's got a it's got a sink underneath the top. Oh, it went the wrong way. So, and then I've got the Camp Chef Explorer two burner stove. Um, 
Luckily, we discovered that the unit brittle will fit on top of it. So. Cool. And this is my, uh, it's a regular cast iron. I've yeah, made macaroni in this, but yeah. it, um, it's the first one I got. It's got no brand on it, but yeah, I've been using it. When I first started doing it, I was doing it in a fire pit. So I had a tripod <coughs> and I was hanging it from a chain. Um, and that was an interesting way to cook. So. Oh. But yeah, I've advanced somewhat. Right now I'm president, also president of the International Dutch Oven Society Bean Chapter. So wow. So did, you're, that's the main pot scrapers. Man, you're <laughs> president of practically everything. Nah. <laughs> it's important. And of I course, know, for a Steve, guy that didn't want to be in charge of anything. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Steve's, as I said, he's got a beautiful flying cloud named Puffy. And uh, they put a lot of work into this thing. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So thanks, Steve. Thank you, Rich. Here's uh, Pam and Chuck Bleakney's rig. And he's got a similar setup to the other guys. Chuck there. And he has, what you got cooking in there, Chuck? I have. Let's hit the coals. Let's see what we got in here. Beef oh, stew. look at that beef stew. It just seems like beef stew should be made in a Dutch oven. It just seems like that's the perfect, perfect thing. So, again, the coals on top. They've got this down to a science. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And thus ended our awesome Dig in the Dead rally. If you're interested in seeing some of our other videos, and this is part four, there'll be a link at the end of this video where you can check out parts three and parts two. If you're interested in doing similar rallies like this, I'll also include a link in the description of the video for the New England Airstream Club as well as the Wally Byam Airstream Club if you're not within the New England area. But we want to thank our hosts for another great rally. We had a wonderful time and we're looking forward to continuing our Airstream adventures.